In this video, we are going to be converting our simple text area field on the create post form into this elaborate text editor you see on the finished project. So this text editor is called Quill.js and it is basically a library or framework, whatever you want to call it. So it is code that people have written uh, about this feature and you can just include the code in your project and then uh, it will implement this feature for you okay so let us first of all visit the official website for this query editor and then we can see the instructions on how to integrate it in our project so we can just search for qjs on google and then qjs.com is the official website now on this official website there are two links that are going to be of interest to us the first is the playground and the other one is the documentation. The documentation shows you how to integrate this in your project as well as uh, configurations and other features and APIs of the uh, library. While the playground is simply a place where they showcase some examples of this editor uh, several different examples and you can click on one of them it will show you um, some code and then give you an example of how to achieve uh, this particular result to the right with the code to the left now so to integrate it is very simple once you have added the code to your website you just need to have a div element with a particular id and then you will use that ID, uh, that ID selector in the Quill constructor or in a new instance of the Quill class and then pass a few uh, configurations as the second argument. So when you do that, this is the result you get. For example, you have header here with level one and level two. So on the right here, you see level one and level two headers. You can just add a new level here and then the project will refresh. When it finishes refreshing, you can see that it has added the level three header. So when you are satisfied with the results, you can then copy it into your project and you're good to go with your uh, text editor. So let us do the first step, which is to integrate this uh, library into our project. So it has the style file, the CSS file. So let's copy that. And then in our code, we'll open create.html in the post uh, directory. And at the top, just before the link to our admin style file, we are going to paste the link to the QJS or CSS. The next thing we are going to add is a link to the JavaScript library. So we copy that as well. And then the JS library is going to be at the bottom of the page. Let us place it just above our admin or uh, the JS file. Okay. So as the instructions here are uh, stipulate, you will basically have a div element with an id and then you use that id in a new instance of the qjs editor of the qjs class okay so let us go to our form we look for the text area now the website stipulates we use a div and i have tried this before and I think it is wise that we use it as it is stipulated on the website. If you use a text area and just use the ID for that text area in your JavaScript like this, it is you're going to run into, into some issues. So we will need to take out the text area element and then give a div a class of, let's just call it text editor. I'll give it an ID rather, not a class, an ID of text editor. And yes, we'll also give a class of the same thing. Now this one is for uh, some custom stylings that we are going to add because we want it to look a little bit different from the default. 
and then the text editor ID is basically what we will use in our JavaScript to instantiate the editor as it is being done in this playground. Okay, so let's go ahead and create an instance of our text editor on this form. So we have everything in place. The only missing part right now is the instance of the queue or uh, class that we need to make. So this is JavaScript and uh, I am going to create a new file to include this instance uh, of, of the this instantiation of the queue or uh, class. Now I'm going to duplicate the link to admin.js file and the new file we are going to call it uh, post editor.js. Let us create that file right now. We are creating it inside the same folder as the one that has the admin.js file. So inside assets JS folder we will create post underscore q underscore editor dot js we hit enter and then we paste um i already prepared something like this in the background i already made the necessary configurations and if you want to learn more about uh, other configurations that are available you can look on the website here you will see more details into how you can configure um the text editor all right, so I'm just going to paste uh, the configurations I already have. So if you take a look, you'll notice it's basically almost the same thing. I have just added one thing here called handlers. And this one is for image upload. So um, this is a function. We are yet to define it. It is a function that is going to enable us to submit or to include images in the body of our post. Now, for now we are going we are going to leave this function empty. So let me just define an empty function called set local image, uh, just so that this doesn't give undefined or it doesn't give an error when we execute a function that's not available. Okay, so we have defined the function and. Uh, the ID here um, is supposed to be the same as this ID. So let us copy text editor and replace this ID with. Now, if you go to our browser and refresh, I expect this to work. And sure enough, it is working. Now I'm going to need to change uh, some of the styles within this. Um, for example, the list elements and so on, and the text you can see it's it's too tiny. So um, we want to change the way um, the HTML or the content of this text editor looks, and we are changing that using CSS. And we are going to select the element using the class. Now this class or this text editor is defined within admin form so let us open our admin style.css and go to the admin form or to the area where we defined the styles for admin form so just after admin form i'm going to insert styles for our text editor so first of all i want to increase the height a bit so i'll give it a minimum height of 130 pixels okay and then the next thing i want to uh, edit the font a bit so admin form i'm going to i'm going to select all paragraph tags as well as unordered lists as well as ordered lists and make sure I give them a font size of, let's say 1.25 rem. So we make them about 25% bigger than the default. We give line height of two rem. We give them a color of, this color I prepared behind the scenes. 
and then lastly a font family of Libre Baskerville. So we are going to include, this is a Google font, we are going to include it later on in the project. So we are just placing this here so that when we include the font itself, this one will take effect. And then another thing I want to do is uh, the margin left or rather the padding left for the list items that is the ordered list and the unordered list the default paddings are a bit too much so I'm going to set them I'm going to set them to one rem so I'll reduce them a little bit okay and then uh, for the paragraphs I want to have some line or some considerable padding or margin between paragraphs so I'm going to set margin bottom to 24 pixels so um, let us refresh this and see how it looks and yeah it looks it looks good now okay um if you click if you click on the if you click on the bottom part of this text editor you will notice that the cursor doesn't appear until you come up here before you are able to make the cursor up here and you start typing but if you go down you see even the mouse pointer turns to default and when you click here nothing happens until you come here before you can get the cursor to appear so what happened is that when we gave a minimum height of 130 to the text editor itself uh, the part that receives the input here still has the former height which is not long enough to include the entire height of the text editor so let me inspect this to better explain what I'm talking about so this element that has a class of ql-editor is where the text is actually being received now it is the parent element that we gave a height of 130 pixels this child element that receives the text did not get a height increase so that's why it remains up here while the rest of the editor is down here and is not uh, cannot cannot receive text so what i will do is i'll give this element this ql editor a height of 130 pixels also so that i can extend to be the same as the text editor itself so we will select this class ql editor i'll copy this i'll copy a selector for the text editor and then we'll add ql editor and give it a, ma a minimum height of inherit and this simply says it should get the same height as its parent uh, element and the parent element has a height of 130 pixels so if you refresh and then you click down here now you notice that it works because the editor itself or the part that receives the text on the editor is as tall or as high as the editor itself okay so that's it for um the text editor on the create post form See you in the next video.